Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today's video is not a cleaning video, but it is a five month update on the kids' vanity in their bathroom. So back in May, I decided to redo this whole entire bathroom on a budget. So I went ahead and used some appliance epoxy on their countertop. Here, I just wanna show you their counter countertop. It's kinda of like a marble material and it's like yellowish, like beige, I'm not really sure but it was just not looking good. So I decided to go ahead and use this appliance epoxy and I am so glad that I did. This little can worked amazing and it only cost me, I wanna say $5. I did not use the whole can. Um, for their bathroom, I only used half a can, but you guys, this thing has lasted, oh my gosh, five months and I have no complaints. I do mention a few things in the video, but we'll get to that. Um, I do want to mention if you guys decide to do this, please, please, please cover up your area because unless you're remodeling the whole entire bathroom and you don't care that this stuff gets everywhere, then go right ahead. But please cover up everything. This stuff has major overspray major overspray and also wear a mask i wore a respirator mask and my son is actually the one filming me right now he actually wore a mask as well because this stuff is super strong so make sure you are in a ventilated area but let's go ahead and get right into this video all right guys i wanted to update you on this rust-oleum appliance epoxy i did this vanity back in may and i just kind of want to show you guys and give you an update on how it's doing. So it is doing beautifully and this is the bathroom that our kids use and our guests use. So it has held up quite nicely. Um, the only thing that I would have done different, I'm gonna show you. Right here, this had some sort of um, glue on here. Um, this wasn't this this right here what you're seeing is has nothing to do with the epoxy itself this vanity has some sort of glue and before I sprayed this I tried my best to get everything off but I could not and you can kind of see right here what I wish I would have done which I'm going to do is um, seal it with some caulk my husband wasn't here when I did this so here you can kind of see the same thing here. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and seal all around and then I'm going to go ahead and respray this. Not because anything is messed up because you guys, this has held up really nice and the finish is super nice. Um, and the only thing is, like I said, is this. So I think if I would have caulked it first and then sprayed, this this would not look like this but this peeling that you are seeing here this is not the epoxy so don't get discouraged because it is not the epoxy it is some glue that was on this counter um this countertop but here it is it's nice and white it is super durable i completely love what it's done and like i said this bathroom is used by our kids and guests so and kids are not careful with things and this like i said has held up i have no problems no complaints now this is not anything that's going to be here for another 20 years this was just a quick fix this whole entire thing i painted the cabinets as well this is chalk paint and i sealed it and then i went ahead and sprayed this with epoxy my husband did not want to pull this out and get a whole new vanity so this was a quick fix and this quick fix you guys cost us I want to say this was like four dollars four or five dollars at home depot and i only used one can and that is the result in five months and it's still going strong and i will be doing another video in my bathroom because i'm going to do the same thing in our bathroom and i'll go show you um, what the countertop looks like because the countertop that's in our bathroom was it's all over the house it's on all three bathrooms so let me go show you that right now. All right, and this is the vanity that I can't really tell with this lighting, but it's kind of like a, I don't know what this is, um, cultured marble maybe or marble, I don't know, but it's that, I don't know, I don't like it. And it stains really easy. And I have left like um, 
my curling iron or my flat iron and it has kind of, I left it here. I don't know what, can't see it from, we can't see it on the camera, but it did stain it somewhere, not too bad, but enough to where um, obviously you don't wanna leave hot things on your countertop, but this is pretty much what that bathroom looked like. And then the cabinets look exactly like this in that bathroom. And if you go back to my old videos, you'll be able to see it, um, but I'll take you back. And here it is one more time. I did spray paint this as well. This is holding up pretty good um, for a quick fix. This was also, the spray paint was like $6. So we spray painted that and this, and it's doing pretty well. But I have um, one of my, my box lights on. Let me turn it off so you can see if you guys can see the difference. So here's what it looks like. That might be better. I don't know. You guys let me know which way it was better for you guys to look at it. So the only lighting that's here right now is these up here. So this is kind of, can't really see it. It's kind of dark in here. It's not the best lighting, but seriously, you guys, I mean, it's a big difference from what it was. Like I said, if you want to go back to my previous videos, um, the only thing I will say when you use this product, make sure that you tape everything off because this has a lot of overspray, a lot, a lot of overspray to the point where I taped everything all the way to the top, everything. I use a sheet, I use um, brown paper that my husband got from Home Depot and I covered everything up because this has a lot of overspray. But other than that, that's my only complaint. And also you do want to make sure that um, you have, you're using it in a ventilated area and wear a mask. I wore a respirator mask when I did this because it is a pretty strong smell, but there it is, you guys. Let me turn that light on again. And there's that light, which doesn't really make a difference. I don't think you can tell, but there you go. That is my five month update. And like I said, the only other thing that I would have done is Make sure you seal off with some caulk so it can look seamless and doesn't look like this. But this is my first time trying it, but now I know when I go to do it in my bathroom, I'm going to make sure, because the same glue is in that other bathroom as well, I'm gonna make sure I seal or caulk everything so it can have a nice seamless look. So that is it for you guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them because this stuff, you guys, works amazing for only, I wanna say it was only $4, but or the max six dollars but it works super great if you're on a budget or you just don't want to pull out a whole vanity and go spend hundreds of dollars on a new vanity totally up to you but i think it's totally worth it here is um i wanted just to show you how it looked with the lights off in the bathroom and i do have my soft box there but this is what it looks like not that there's much of a difference but it is super white and I love it. I hate that you can't really see it on camera, but, but that is it guys. I just wanted to show you that really quick.